In the ever-evolving landscape of global security and space exploration, recent developments have sparked concerns about a new frontier in warfare, the potential deployment of nuclear weapons in space by Russia. But why would Russia consider placing a nuclear weapon in space? Join us today as we explore why would Russia, a pioneer of space exploration and a seasoned nuclear power, contemplate such a bold move. So let's get started. Since February 2024, the US officials are reportedly telling allies that Russia could launch the nuclear system into space within the next year. This news has sent ripples through the international community, igniting debates and fears about what comes next. But the concept of militarizing space isn't new. During the Cold War, both the United States and the Soviet Union developed and tested anti-satellite weapons and considered the potential of space-based nuclear platforms and space became a domain of dreams, nightmares, and endless possibilities. However, the Outer Space Treaty of 1967, signed by over 100 countries including the US and the Soviet Union, now Russia, drew a line which explicitly prohibits the placement of nuclear weapons or any other weapons of mass destruction in orbit, on celestial bodies, or in outer space. But fast forward to today, and that line is blurring. Speculations suggest that Russia could be working on placing either a nuclear-powered military satellite or a nuclear explosive device into orbit. This isn't about satellites that merely spy or gather data. We're talking about potential weapons capable of striking from above without warning. But why would anyone want to weaponize the final frontier? Let me explain. Space offers a high ground unlike any other. Satellites are crucial for communication, navigation, and surveillance. Controlling space means having an unparalleled strategic advantage over adversaries on Earth. So, one explanation could be that Russia is explicitly seeking programs and capabilities that could go after American nuclear control capabilities in a crisis to prevent America from attacking Russia first. And maybe it's more than just military applications. Perhaps Russia wants to establish itself as a dominant force in space, flexing its technological muscle with a weapon no one else possesses. The truth is, satellites are the silent heroes of modern warfare. They guide missiles, connect troops, and keep everyone informed. Take them out, and you take out a military's backbone. However, the risks are also immense. An arms race in space could lead to the deployment of weapon systems that, once activated, might be impossible to control or disarm. And beyond the immediate threat of escalation, there's the lasting impact on space safety, international security, and the legal and ethical implications of such a move. And the greatest damage, both to satellites and on Earth, would probably be caused by the electromagnetic pulse that a nuclear explosion would generate. The effects would be similar to those expected from a natural geomagnetic storm following a severe solar flare. Such an intense burst of electromagnetic radiation would destroy the electronic circuitry in satellites and a vast range of terrestrial computing and communications infrastructure. Power oscillations in electric grids would lead to extensive blackouts. Remember that GPS blackout? Yeah, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Imagine financial markets crashing, planes grounded and communication networks fried. Not exactly a good day for anyone. The United States has voiced deep concerns over Russia's pursuit of new space weapons. This includes a mobile laser system aimed at destroying satellites and the launch of an inspector satellite behaving in abnormal ways. On the other hand, President Vladimir Putin has denied the allegations and assured that they are against the deployment of nuclear weapons in space. Some unnamed resources are also saying that by 2030, the US could potentially hit any target within Russia from space, a capability that Moscow is keen to counter with its own advancements, including the S-500 missile system designed to engage hypersonic targets. And if Russia did develop such a weapon, then the United States would be forced to do something similar, and perhaps China too, and so there would be a risk of some sort of nuclear space race. And this isn't just about who has the bigger gun. It's a race for security, for deterrence, and for control. As a matter of fact, the satellites have been targeted before. Russia, China, India, and the US have all destroyed redundant spacecraft in tests of anti-satellite missiles. But the space junk such explosions create could cause havoc in orbit if the debris collides with other satellites. The most recent strike took place in November 2021, when a Russian missile shot down an old Cosmos 1406 signals intelligence satellite 500 kilometers above the Earth. So are we on the brink of a nuclear meltdown in space? Well, probably not. 
The evidence, shrouded in secrecy and speculation, offers no clear answers. But one thing is clear, that the move towards weaponizing space isn't just a technical challenge, it's a moral and legal minefield. The decisions made in the next few years will shape the trajectory of human spaceflight and international security. Legal experts, ethicists and global leaders grapple with questions that challenge the very fabric of international law. How do we navigate these uncharted waters? Can existing frameworks adapt to the realities of 21st century space exploration and warfare? These questions demand urgent answers as humanity stands on the brink of a new era. So that's all from today. Thank you for joining us on this wild ride into the potential dangers of space nukes. We hope this video sparked your curiosity and encouraged you to learn more. If there's anything more you'd like to explore, or another topic you're interested in, let us know in the comment section below. Until next time.